looking for volunteers all the time to help with the project, which may involve uh, digitization, cleaning, rehousing the plates, um, and carrying out research into the people and places. I'm Rosemary Halston, and I've been volunteering here, I suppose, since the project started. I think it's, it's interesting to find out quite a bit more about the history of Sutton and people who lived here. I don't have any personal connections with the area. I grew up a long way away, but it's still interesting to find out a bit about local history. And um, also one meets other volunteers, and um, I met some very nice people <laughs> in the year or so that I've been coming here. Well, the first thing is, um, like the other volunteer who you've already spoken to, I don't actually come from this area, so it's fascinating to learn a lot about the past history of where I now live. Um, and without the history, you can't look to the future. The history is part of the heritage that is very important to um, preserve, particularly on a project like this, um, being over 100 years old. Uh, a lot of the work is very delicate, and you have to be aware that handling it, um, we have certain procedures to follow as well. Um, we've met lots of new people. Um, I've learnt lots of new skills, particularly with a computer, which I hadn't had before, um, which I hope I've got to grips with. Um, and I've started on the project at, at its beginning, in its infancy, and will definitely be staying until um, the project is seen through. Contact uh, Kath or Abby and come along and join in the group. It's very interesting work. Um, and you learn new skills as you go. The end of the project, the project ends at the end of this summer and we have a six week end of project exhibition planned in the Europa Gallery in Sutton Central Library. If you want to find out more about the project, uh, check out our WordPress blog um, or our Flickr set um, which has um, thousands of images on it.